was a terrifying night for one Austin family. KXAN's Nabil Ramadna has been looking over that really tough video just released by Austin police, and he's walking us through what happened. And we do want to let everybody know tonight, this video is hard to watch. Hello? Hello? Do you need police? Hello? Yes, do you need police? Fire or ambulance? Oh, help us! A frantic call to 911 at 2.49 a.m. on November 11th. One of the victims from inside a home on Bernoulli Drive was able to get away to call for help. Is this for someone who was stabbed? Yes, we were all stabbed. Her breath labored as she tries to give details to responding officers. <laughs> Please send someone there okay, right okay, away. Hold on, hold I don't on. know what's going to happen to them. Okay, can you breathe? Are you, are you, can you breathe? This body cam footage shows that around 3 a.m. more officers arrive in the area. Officers are told there are more victims inside the home, so they force their way inside. They were then pushed back by gunfire. Police say the shooter inside Ahmed Nassar. According to APD, he was armed and hiding inside with two hostages. SWAT was called in at 3.06 and at 4.11 a.m. you see here SWAT officers making their way up to the home to go inside and deploying distraction devices. The video stops there and police won't release it because of privacy reasons. But once the SWAT officers got inside and to the back room, police say Ahmed Nassar fired his gun at the SWAT officers. Shortly after a call came in that two officers were shot. One of them, Officer Jorge Pastor, who later died from his injuries. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And Nassar also died in that shootout. Now the second officer has been released from the hospital. Inside the home, investigators found the bodies of 32-year-old Riyad Mohammed Nassar and 63-year-old Iman Nassar. And neighbors tell us that is the suspect's brother and mother. Three APD officers opened fire and all have been placed on administrative leave. This is APD protocol, of course.